Yo, what is up? How you guys doing today? So I have another Uncharted update for you guys. That's 3.17.1.0. And in this update, there's a lot of additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Right off the bat, you guys can tell I have a new weapon in my hand, and that is the quad barrel. Yes, guys, this is a new shotgun right now that I have in here. I don't think I have any ammunition in it whatsoever, but uh, I'll have to get some in the or like later on so I can actually show you how this does against zombies. But also, you guys can see that I have a bayonet attached to it. Now, this bayonet is actually pretty OP because it kills zombies in a few hits, sometimes even a one hit. Uh, I'll be showing a few clips of those on the screen right now as I'm talking, showing uh, how this gun works and how, you know, it shoots and basically, you know, what it's all about. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the first part of this update. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next. Now for the rest of the additions. There's a new NPC named Lieutenant Oswald that is added into the cockpit of the ship along with a bunch of other new NPCs. Doc Ernie also has a new blueprint unlock and dialogue, the mechanic now has a new engine repair quest, the medic also has a new research recovery quest as well as a new patient that many of you guys may already know. Now if you guys haven't heard of him before, he's uh, from Fallout 4, or at least this quote is, but uh, it's there's a settlement nearby that needs your help. Now this is from Fallout 4, it's kind of like a big meme that was, uh, you know, kind of died out over time, but you know, it's still here a bit. But um, yeah, there is also Ensign Franklin who was added into the barracks of the ship where you guys can go to him and buy replacement uniforms. Rusty also has a new nautical nuisance quest. There is also a bigger variety of NPCs scattered along the ship, which um, basically there's, there's people in tents, there's people all over, there's new people in the barracks. Now for the improvements, these are regarding the reputation system. So improved missing a shot slash swing that traveled within 4 meters of a player to mark you as an aggressor if not already under attack. There's also improved using lockpick slash detonator slash grenade to mark you as an aggressor if you are not under attack as well. And there is improved vendor menu to show how many of uh, viable items you already have. Now for the tweaks, tweak to show warning message when building in safe zone, tweaked quest menu to better expand vertically and added a return button, tweaked gunshot audio roll off to make more sense, tweaked quest interactables to play effect when used, and tweaked scaled buildables in editor to reset when deselected to avoid confusion. Now for the fixes, we have fixed using carjack slash lockpick in safe zone, fixed to allow suicide in non-area safe zones, fixed cleaning up last chat icon, fixed vendor item description applying rich text in wrong order, fixed fertilizer applying before animation, fixed using ladders to cancel animations, fixed Russia map pizza slash donut stores using wrong spawn tables, and fixed at nearby item obstruction to ignore triggers. Also, at the very bottom of the update notes, Nelson wrote, In the next NPC update, I'll be working on a quest tracking feature so you guys can view quest goals outside of the info screen, the trader uncovering slash rescue quest line, looking into boss battle zombies, example, uh, go to a specific area to defeat electric mega zombies and putting up documentation on all the NPC features. For mod creators, I forgot to mention in the last post, you can press the end key in the appearance menu to copy your character details to the clipboard for creating NPCs, and same in game 2, view all active flags and values. There's also a flag command to set a key slash value for testing, and he also said a bit of a heads up as well, for the first time and I can't even remember how long, there won't be any sort of update next week. I'll be away at the Steam Dev Days conference. So yeah, basically those people who are waiting or you like wake up early just to see these updates, uh, you guys won't have to do that next week because there will be no update. So that means it's basically like a break for everybody else. Um, but yeah, also guys, I will be starting to post more videos hopefully soon. Um, I have a lot more tutorials and just regular overall, you know, like survival gameplay videos coming out soon. So, yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.